from a terrifying incident that wiped out Dana Paola's memories, to something in season one that drove Omar Ayuso to psychiatric intervention. Let's see. Esther and Dana no longer besties? It is with a sad heart that we have to accept the fact that Esposito is no longer a part of the Elite gang, but she will always be remembered as the OG of the cast. However, some fans started to think that Esther actually broke apart from the cast because of alleged beef with her on-screen classmate, Dana Paola. In November 2020, Dana published a photo in which she appears with all her fave castmates from the Netflix series, captioned, Um, hello? Can we go back to this? My girls! What caused a lot of fuss among fans is the fact that Esther is not there. Esther missed multiple cast reunions, yet was seen hanging with individual actors. Online fans keep speculating that the two just drifted apart over time, but what if a mysterious man is to blame for all the fuss? Despite being like sisters for three years during filming, nostalgia waves clearly skipped Esther. The two stopped appearing together after the end of the series, and the set was probably the last place where they were actually together. The fans were quick to assume that Dana and Esther are no longer besties. Who knows what happened between these two? Or perhaps Perhaps Esposito is spending all her free time with her boo these days. Maybe it's because Esther is now happily together with Alejandro Spitzer instead of hanging out with her co-stars, one of which is her ex-boyfriend Alvaro Rico. That might seem like a bit of a stretch. Although the two separated on amicable terms, who wouldn't avoid their crowd just to steer clear of an ex, right? To this day, neither Paola nor Esposito have addressed the rumors or denied them. In the meantime, there's another cast member who's hiding a big secret. Miguel Bernardo. Don't judge a book by its cover. The actor plays his on-screen character so well, it's almost impossible to separate Miguel from the classist bully Guzman. In real life, though, Bernardo is the kind of humble and genuine friend you'd always want by your side. Many perceptions of him exist. The actor's name is often linked to his famous family. Miguel's father, a producer and showrunner, his mother, an actress, and his sister who's recently stepped up her screen game as well. So it's natural for many to assume that Miguel's career was handed to him. But this is exactly the assumption Miguel has been fighting, the haunting fear of never being able to live up to people's expectations and be good enough. Contrary to everyone's assumptions, Miguel has been working hard from day one. Not only has the actor taken intense acting classes in the US, but he's continued training even after his big break. Despite his following and the successful projects he's been able to secure with his raw talent, Bernardo's biggest fear is reaching his professional ceiling. After receiving his GQ award, the Netflix star revealed he's now extremely anxious about not being able to work anymore or ever land a role in a movie. Ever since Elite fame struck the actor, Miguel felt like he didn't deserve everything he was receiving, which took a toll on his self-esteem and motivation. Luckily, the actor is now in the process of assessing his professional and personal life. Miguel is only 24 but has already decided to re-evaluate his life, values, and the way he approaches his career. As the star shared with his fans, he wants to tell stories but has no intention of being a role model. On another note, you'd never guess the personal struggles of Dana Paola. Looks can be deceiving. Always smiley, brightening everyone's day, and producing content non-stop, it seems like creativity and energy just burst out of Dana. However, her life as a celebrity is not all rainbows and butterflies. In fact, Dana has been known to keep quiet about her personal life or struggles, keeping her content positive. Yet, this February, Dana finally spoke up about horrible things that happened to her while filming season one of Elite in Madrid. In an interview with Jordi Rosado, the Mexican actress confessed that she's never been able to forget that day or the anxiety she felt afterwards. Dana went to have dinner with a friend who'd arrived from Mexico before her shoot the next day. When the girls went to the bar, a group of Latin American men joined their table for a chat. What Dana managed to figure out later is that those men spiked their drinks and tried to take advantage of her when she went to the bathroom. Luckily, her friend helped her and Dana got an Uber home. But that's not where the evening ended. The drugs that were slipped into Paola's drink made the actress sick and she ended up in the hospital surrounded by paramedics. It was a long night for Dana, although she doesn't remember much as the drugs wiped her memory. It hurts to know that despite everything that happened, Paola never took a break and continued working and shooting while still keeping it all dreamy and smiley for her fans. The actress has been a role model for her fans, motivating us to carry on no matter what. But we hope that Dana doesn't forget about herself and takes her well-deserved rest. The same goes for Omar Ayuso, victim of discrimination. Off-screen, Omar goes hand-in-hand -hand with his elite character, peeling off layers of his personality on his social media, trying to dismantle homophobia. 
Overnight, the actor went from a lost teenager to a queer idol for many fans, and that pressure has been quite overwhelming for the actor. But criticism is not a rare thing for Ayuso. Omar has been portraying a gay Muslim character, which was met with a lot of backlash and concerning threats. After receiving psychological help for years to tackle his anxiety, panic attacks, and depression, Omar liberated himself from the need to please haters. A truly powerful move. The actor is now 23, and for the past couple of years, Omar has been gracing his audience with his creative, and at times, explicit content. Omar's openness could not even pass Instagram censorship. Last year, Ayuso posted what he called an ode to love, a jaw-dropping picture of him video conferencing with another nude male, which was scandalous enough for the Instagram team to remove it right away. It seems like the actor is at peace these days, going public about his relationship with his boyfriend, Alonso Diaz, and doing shameless photo shoots. Yet, it was far from easy for the actor to be exposed to the whole world at such a young age. The Elita star has admitted in an interview that he was on cloud nine after filming the show, but the fame, exposure, and identity confusion brought by it left scars on him. After a long battle with inner fears and insecurities, enhanced by international recognition, the actor was finally able to break free as a director, writer, and producer. Ayuso went beyond his elite character and launched his own production company, which he admits was therapeutic and healing for him. And have you heard of another digital warrior? Idzan Escamilla, fed up with it all. Let's be real, the actor might have had the craziest love drama on the set of Elite, which brought a lot of attention to his persona. In season one, the actor had to make out with Maria Pedraza while her boyfriend and co-star, Jaime Lorente, was behind the scenes watching. Quisiera ser joyero. Para apreciar todos los días un diamante como tú. The following seasons revealed a new love story between Samu and Carla, which was widely shipped by Elite Stans. Just like on screen, the two were always together offset, spiking some rumors about a possible romance. Yet, while everybody was wondering whether Samu and Carla were the real deal in real life, Idzan launched a campaign about the dangers of social media and the digital space. Despite his public persona and being linked to romances, Escamilla is not a big fan of media exposure. In fact, the actor admitted it caused him a lot of anxiety and insecurities he had no idea how to cope with. In promotion of the campaign, the actor revealed he now thinks a thousand times before uploading something on his feed. The fear of judgment, dislikes, and criticism is too much to deal with. From 300 subscribers to 7 million overnight, Escamilla had no time to adjust or transition into a star, and ever since, his feed has been kept within the limits of a dozen pictures. The actor said that people make way too many assumptions, and at this point, Itzan has had enough of defending himself and his credibility in a character. Is this the reason why the actor is leaving the show? Well, rumor has it season 4 of Elite is the final one for Escamilla. Wait, and Itzan isn't the only actor who's done struggling in silence. Aaron Piper, living with loss. Dubbed as the most sought-after young man in Madrid, the 24-year-old actor has been going through an identity crisis not many viewers know about. In his interviews, Aaron confessed that many times fans refer to him as Ander, morphing his real-life self with his on-screen character. Despite his eternal love for Omander and Elite, Piper has been struggling to move away from being typecast and pigeonholed into his character's image. For this reason, the actor's social media is all about his music and movie promotions, and he keeps his personal life off the feed and out of media tabloids. Now, despite his efforts, assumptions about Aaron's sexuality and partner has been a hot topic since day one. On top of that, the recent release of Netflix's limited series, dubbed in the US as The Mess You Leave Behind, features Aaron in a scene with a passionate gay hookup that made fans go nuts. Meanwhile, Piper has no intention of stopping the ongoing fuss around his sexuality, only fueling the mystery further, being especially cheeky when it comes to his Insta lives. Despite his image, Aaron stays true to himself, embracing who he is. With many tattoos scattered all over his body, Piper says the crying heart encapsulates his personality, saying, it symbolizes how much crying has helped me in life. And that's the perfect example of a man who doesn't conform to toxic masculinity standards. Kudos to that, am I right? No matter what the crowd says, Aaron knows he has a purpose, and that purpose guides him out of depression, anxiety, and the absolute loss of privacy he's been battling for years now. Last year, the actor shared a vulnerable side of his life with GQ, revealing that his parents tried to have children and lost five of them before Aaron was born. This is why the actor thinks that, in a way, he's meant to be here, and his passed away siblings are taking care of him. What a beautiful message to share. Now, if you want to see more of the Elite cast's personal stories, like this video and comment below which cast member surprised you the most. And as always, thanks for watching.